hey guys welcome back today we are going to be making banana and oat pancake very very simple breakfast so i'm using soy milk quick oats brown sugar three bananas of course i'm going to be using ginger that's dried powdered ginger um powdered nutmeg or grated nutmegs and um powdered cinnamon and i'm also going to be adding two eggs to this pancake i'm going to making this pancake in a blender very simple and straightforward so you don't have too many dishes to wash when you're done and to the blender i'm going to pour in approximately one cup of soy milk i love soy milk because it's well healthy version of milk and it's plant-based and I'm going to be breaking in the two eggs into the milk. Then I'll be also then I'll be adding in the three bananas. Guys, I always prefer to use um ripe bananas because first of all the bl they blend easier they are sweeter and they have tons and tons of flavor then i'm also going to pour in one cup of quick oats so i'm just making this for three people you can um, increase the number based on the number of people you're, um, you can increase the amount based on the number of people you're trying to feed then i also added a spoon of brown sugar because i don't want it too sweet remember the banana is already sweet enough then one tablespoon of ginger powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. I actually put more than one tablespoon because I love the taste of cinnamon. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Half tablespoon, my bad. Half tablespoon of cinnamon powder and then one tablespoon of nutmeg powder, powdered nutmeg. Okay, nutmeg is also half tablespoon. <laughs> then I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything together to get a smooth pancake paste. Very easy guys, very very easy and straightforward. So my pancake batter is ready and I totally forgot to add my vanilla essence. So I'm going to, it's not too late because thank god it's liquid. So I'm just going to go in here and add one tablespoon of vanilla powder. I think I put too much vanilla um, essence. Um, that was quite a lot, so I just reduced it. But one tablespoon is fine for this particular batter. And then just blend it to combine. And now we go ahead and make the pancakes. I use spray oil because it's easier, it's less messy, and you end up not wasting your oil. Because I find that when you use normal oil to make pancakes, it pancakes become too oily and soggy. So this batter is quite soft. I probably should have made it thicker because it's very light and um, it's quite difficult flipping the pancake. Yay! Perfect. So this is the first one I'm making it looks really really good so I will advise you to do this on low heat the importance of uh, making this on low heat is so that the pancake cooks through you know banana doesn't cook easily so you need to um, use it on low heat so that it, it stays longer on the heat and then cooks through if not you won't like what it comes out comes out as <laughs> oh my gosh all right guys so i also added um some nuts some raisins and um coconut uh, sorry chocolate chips to this um pancake just to take it to another level you know i know my pancakes are kind of brown but i actually don't mind them like that you can make yours lighter than this that's fine but it's how i like my pancakes and yeah so we're just going to go ahead and continue frying them batch by batch until we are done with everything and yes you can now go ahead and enjoy your pancake either with um 
honey your maple syrup your pancake syrup anything you want you can make your own homemade syrup or you could just use cream and i'm just here enjoying my pancake guys this is easy this is delicious it's healthy it's straightforward and it's something that your kids will love your family will love and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe love you guys bye